People, it has happened another time, and once again, you most likely were sleeping on it. Hello people, Barry here from Air Collector, and today your favorite European YouTuber is going to try to give a reasonable, logical, rational, you could say, explanation to what is happening. Now, could this be forecasted? Yes. However, what we're going to do today is try to understand why this happened, because if you're going to ask me, Barry, well, can I buy it now? Well, it was $5.00. Right now it's in the 13, it's actually in the mid tens. So it's around about $15. Uh, this is pretty much, I don't know where this comes from, uh, but it's, it's about $15 car right now. And uh, we're gonna explore why it's happening. At least try to, again, try to give a rational explanation of, of why it's happening. And uh, once again, I made a video about the Pokemon next best thing. Right now, your answer should be Barrett. What's the next best thing? Why? If you want to buy this, you're taking a massive amount of risk. It's $15 in May 3x, which is 200% in what, a week, um, two weeks, uh, about, about a month actually. So I made 200% in about a month, crazy gains. You want to buy it, you're taking the risk. Would you buy it? I don't know. Would I buy it? I did when it was cheaper. Now, that being said, a bit of a life update, big thank you guys, we hit 500 subs, which is peanuts for uh, many people, it's uh, a huge milestone for myself as I'm trying to grow a community that connects Europeans, Americans, and uh, I mean, if you're Australian, if, if you're Japanese, I actually have a, a Japanese viewer watching once, he, he once commented, uh, so I'm kind of honored, I, I don't think I, I'd make it that far, but uh, yeah, trying to connect those worlds as uh, obviously if, if you are in the Pokemon investing space, many of the Pokemon Pokeytubers who are related to these to this field are Americans or Australians, uh, but nonetheless, they only talk about the American market, which is understandable. Most of you guys watching are American. Thank you for watching to this uh, idiot European, uh, but uh, I like also to take a look at the European perspective. So thank you for 500 subs, please, Let's get to 1K, let's double it in uh, as little time as possible. Help me out, subscribe, comment, share, like. You know, the, the more interaction we can make, the, the better we can grow and the more cotton and I can bring. And hopefully quality is good already. I hope, I hope you think so. And uh, I can only try to improve it. So that being said, if you're interested, if you're not, I'll, I'll leave you the what are called timestamps um, so you can skip this part. I took my last exam. I failed. It's okay. Um, I expected it. Um, I mean, if it if it's any worth, um, more than half of people failed. It's the most. It's notoriously the hard exam in the old, um, let's say, old degree course. Uh, it's actually if you search on Google, Math fifty five, which I think is a, a class at MIT or Harvard. I don't remember, and it's known as the hardest math course, math class, call it whatever you want. Uh, it's actually algebraic topology, and uh, that's part of what this angle is all about. Um, so it's basically much the same thing. Um, so that being said, one thing you could be interested in, actually, is that uh, the last couple of days, last week, I've been working uh, on my dissertation thesis, and uh, it's actually gonna be pretty interesting because it, it's about mean variance portfolio, so it's, uh, but I, analyze uh, more of uh, the estimators used and uh, it's actually it, it could be also applied to the Pokemon market actually so it's interesting because I discovered I researched many interesting things which obviously are not taught in any finance class obviously I'm a mathematician not a finance guy but they're not taught in any finance class uh, they're research papers and uh, pretty interesting so that being said which you probably skipped if you didn't um, let me know down in the comments, uh, but you probably did. So, what's going on? What we're gonna address is, why did you miss it? If you missed it, you most likely missed it because you were focused on, uh, you know, watching all other PokeTubers uh, talking about how Sword and Shield singles are going down. Now, as I always say, money doesn't disappear, it moves. If something is going down, so most likely something is going up. Now, as some people say in this hobby, money can either go out of the hobby, 
So I can, if, if those singles are going down, then what could happen is that that money is going to do something else, or it can still be into Pokemon, it's just going into different cards, boxes, whatever. It is possible that money of people that realize those massive gains is going into Scarlet and Violet singles. Now, we've seen it with Groudon Steelix when it comes to Patrick Swift. We've seen it with uh, the Magikarp a long time ago. We've seen it with, um, I mean, Temporal. It had the Raging Bolts, which was playable. That's why the big spike. Uh, Iron Crown uh, kind of repriced itself. So this is basically the Pokemon market repricing things. Now, why this card? Um, and uh, it's actually happening with uh, some other singles, but uh, this is actually one of the one of the few that had such a large percentage gain. Now, you, all you need to understand is, yes, artwork plays a big role. Now, I love this. It does. Let me know. I mean, it gives me personally uh, Giratina and Magical vibes. Let me know what you think. I heard that some people refer to this Pokemon as a flying bacon. I understand it. Uh, I actually like it. Uh, but this specific artwork, I think it's pretty cool. So obviously art artwork plays a big role, but let's not forget pull rates. I'll most likely pop up um, some sort of pull rates data sheet, um, but I'll just say it um, as I'm talking. But Paradox, when it comes to illustration rares, Paradox and Temporal so far are the one with the toughest pull rates. If you want to pull a specific illustration rare from these two sets, probability is one out of 400 plus packs. 450, 420, 412. Don't remember exactly. It's more than 400, less than 500. That is for pulling. That's the probability of pulling a specific illustration rare. It doesn't mean, remember, it doesn't mean that if you open 400 and whatever packs you're gonna pull the car you want because you can have doubles that's not how it works remember that so that being said those are the two sets with the toughest pull rates for illustration rares so what you can do is think about this car and this is five dollars um, you can think about what you can do is basically you can compare this car to something else now the steelix which is in the same set is $25, right? 25, 20, 30, I think it's more 25, and has the same pull rate, right? So what you can ask yourself, what you should ask yourself if you're really, um, I mean, investor, flipper, whatever, if you're in this business, you should ask yourself and you wanna buy it. If Steelix is $25, can Yvetal get to 25? My honest opinion, no. Why Steelix is a much more well-known and established Pokemon. That's why. Same pull rates, so we can compare artworks and uh, popularity. Steelix, I put it higher, just like I do with Groudon, which is why Groudon is more expensive as Steelix. You can, I think also with Groudon, artwork plays a role. Now, what you could do is you could go look at other sets. So if we go on to Temporal Forces, you have Ghastly uh, being I don't have it here, but you have Gasly being $30 in the US, I think, 30, 33, and it's uh, 25, about 20, 25 euros in the European Union. Now, for team poor forces, poor rate for a specific illustration rare is about one out of 250 packs, which is obviously less than Paradox. Hence, let's pick the most expensive IR from Paradox, Groudon, $60. Pull rates, uh, the ratio is about what? 7.8? What's, uh, let's do it now. So it's 250 over 4 and 20. 0.6. So you take that 60, you multiply by 0.6. So actually, uh, so you have uh, 60 times 0.6, 36 euros, dollars, whatever you want. 36, um, 36 units. So you can expect that based on this comparison, which is, it doesn't, I mean, there's so many variables involved, which this is, is the only thing, it isn't the only thing you should be doing, but it's one thing you could do. So you can expect that basically what, what, you, what you need to do is, 
if you're saying, okay, I'm comparing the same artwork, same Pokemon, just just peel, so I'm, I'm keeping those variable fixed, which is obviously unrealistic, we need to be aware of that, and I'm only comparing pull, pull rates. If I only compare pull rates, then I can expect this car to be about $30, $35, euros, whatever. However, obviously, you don't only have pull rates, you have artwork, Pokemon, blah, 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 so you have those things, and you know, you're like, well, can Gasly be more notorious than Groudon? Well, personally, I'll put them pretty much the same level. Uh, can the Gasly artwork be a, a much better appreciated artwork than Groudon? Again, it's easy to answer those questions. It's kind of personal. I can help with that. Personally, I think they're pretty much equal. Now, you can do the same thing with Eevee from Twilight. That's something you can utilize to try to predict movements. Now, if you were to do this with Yeltal, you can, you know, you could have done this, be like, is this more notorious than Steelix? No. Take. Is this bad artwork than Steelix? I would have been, I think they're pretty equal. They're, they're both sick artworks. That's my opinion. Do they have the same pull rates? Yes. So, I could expect them, this car, to be a bit less expensive than Steelix, which is what's happening. Now, if this is going to be more expensive than Steelix, then I might have miscalculated. Possible. I doubt it, to be honest. But that's what's happened. So again, as I said in the next best thin video, which I'll, I'll leave you pop up right now as, as, as always, as usual. If someone else is talking about something, if something is on the spot, and you try to look for opportunities there, you're not going to find them. Everyone is talking about it. You need to look where no one is looking. They, I mean, I don't know if they were PokeTubers or not. Most likely they weren't, right? They were just people who, like me and many others, because it's happening, thought about this, saw the opportunity. So, if you open YouTube and your own page, you see Sword and Shield's crashing, blah, 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 and you look for Sword and Shield singers, you want to buy them, I don't know if that's the right thing to do. But if you hear those news, everyone talking about Sword and Shield, then you know you need to look somewhere else. That's where you might, you will, you could find opportunities. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, let me know down in the comments what you think. Remember to join the Discord, it's absolutely free. Let's talk in there, and I'll see you in the next one.